Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to be playing a game called Sheepo. I've played just a little bit, like the first segment of it. It's a quirky Metroidvania where you play as like a shape-shifting sheep creature. So I've already played just a little bit of it. Um, it's pretty standard when it comes to your platform and stuff, but you get different abilities that you unlock to like shape-shift to access areas, things like that. Um, so this is your character um, You jump you have a double jump of course you're able to uh, like this thing right here if you hold X it allows you to uh, To take full advantage of it to uh, to jump or to use to move around and access areas um, Puzzle solving element, so it's pretty much on par. This is a checkpoint. You could save that at any point, but it's pretty much on par with other similar games um, the art style I like so you can see right now I have to get um, all this go look up these right here you want to collect <sighs> see I don't even know if I can reach that yet you want to collect all that stuff so you could uh, be able to, I guess those feathers are like extra collectibles uh, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there we go. I'm so glad it's not one-hit deaths, by the way. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I'm able to access a new area that I hadn't been able to just by coming right here. Got to watch out for the spikes. Oof, there we go. New area? Nope. Okay. Um... Oh, new area up here. What's this? Tickets. Sorry you startled me. It's been a long time since I had any visitors. You see, this used to be a busy shopping mall. I like to buy something. I do have my markers. So I bought something. <laughs> Alright, nice. So I could see save points on the map. So I already did like one boss fight. It was like a big um, giant like bird boss. Which is pretty interesting to look at. Here we go. Boom. Grab that. Let's make our way down. See, so all that to get access to that store. Um, let's move further down. Look at that. Good foreground effects with the branch in the middle. Do not feed the monster. What can I feed him? Can I feed him this? <laughs> That's funny. Um, I'm actually curious what happens if you feed them. Come down. Nope, it's going to explode. Whoops. I guess I kicked the stuff too hard. There we go. Kick it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so stuff like this definitely... Um, a small video like this does not do big Metroidvania games that require a lot of exploration elements and things like that justice. You know, you don't get justice out of... Oh, yeah. Look, I got it. These games take much more than just playing like a, a 10 minute first impressions video. But you can see the potential in this one. Um, you know, especially with the art design. Uh, definitely has like that look to it. You know what I mean? I wonder if I f keep feeding him if... What will happen? You know there's, there's something here. If you keep feeding his ass. Oop, nope. I don't even know if... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I don't even know if we can get that one. If we can get that one down over here. But, it looked like we were able to. Alright, so we got one more. Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Maybe it'll get me a trophy or something. Right? What 
let's uh let's go that way. Nah, definitely. Let's see if we can kick it across. Nope. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to time the momentum of the kick. There we go. Oop. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, let the good times roll. Come on, baby, let the good times roll. Boom. Got him. Do I get something? Oh, no. I guess just another another feather. I thought he was going to explode or something. <laughs> See, I, I gained the ability to transform into these things. So it allows me to fly a little bit longer to access areas that I couldn't previously. So you get you gather the ability to to access areas with new um, new abilities and stuff as you progress. So that's what technically makes it a Metroidvania <laughs> in a sense. Okay. Um, platforming, you gotta love that. Okay, how am I supposed to get that? Huh. Interesting. Maybe I have to gain access to the kind of snake creature. Oh well. I think eventually you gain access to those things that are in the dirt. Alright. Now what? The gallery. I'm in an area called the gallery. So I definitely see the potential in this game don't let its weird name and idea of being like a sheep like creature um, steer you away from ultimately trying it out oh nope I don't have access over here are you able to tr transport I don't think you can fast travel at all would be interesting if you could Oh. I don't I guess you can't grab onto that whatever that was let's see what's down here ooh new area I thought that would be an area that would be closed off but it was not there we go that reminds me of Donkey Kong a little bit <laughs> with the uh, the barrel shit Oh no! Oh, okay, I made it. Barely. <laughs> With the hair, the chinny chin chin. So you see these doors with the blue. You have to get all these blue, uh. These blue things in order to proceed. I'm so glad it's not one hit deaths. But yeah, you can see right there, I gained access. There we go. Donkey Kong it. <laughs> Donkey Kong that. Boom. There we go. Man, some very good puzzle platform elements going on right now. Oof. That definitely will test your skill. I gotta get this, dude. There we go. There we go, mate. <laughs> so I'm definitely liking what I see here. Shit. I'm dead. Oh, nope. I did it. I thought I was not going to recover there. Alright. I like what I see here, guys. I'm going to continue. I might live stream this one day. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.